welcome everybody to the Glitchy and Phoenix Show. I am your one of your co-hosts, Glitchy Bitch. I'm Psycho and Freakish. And here we have my cohort, Phoenix. Yay! He's awesome. Better than I am. <laughs> Today our topic is one, two, three, Tumblr. Tumblr. Slightly better, but still there is a fucking delay. <laughs> We've I think it's a Skype this. delay. We've yeah, been we've trying been... to do this, but it's not working. <laughs> but yes, as you can see, um, we got tough. a shiny new background. Oh yeah, we have a shiny new background. It's really pretty and purple and blue. Um, <laughs> and blue <laughs> and kind of pink and kind of white. And mm. anyway, anyways, <laughs> um, today's topic is Tumblr. Tumblr. So I have mixed we feelings about Tumblr. <laughs> Because Tumblr is a very good place for people to post art and stories and just kind of ramble opinions. about whatever, whatever the fuck is on their mind. Mm -hmm. um, but there's also a dark side to Tumblr. <sighs> and they don't have cookies like they promised. No. <laughs> and it's a very dark side. Because if you believe the hype on Tumblr, everyone is racist and everyone is homophobic. Including gay people and every race imaginable, mm -hmm. which, don't get me wrong, there's a lot of racist people and there's a lot of homophobic people out there. Yes. But I don't necessarily think that because I'm a white male, I should immediately be branded a racist because I'm white. Um, Tumblr, Tumblr would have very mixed feelings about me, I think, because I'm a white, gay, disabled person. Tumblr um, also has mixed feelings about me because I appear to be a white cis female. Oh, don't even get me started. Word. Oh my god, don't even, don't get, even me get me started on the fucking cis shit. Oh, oh. No. I appear to be a uh, well-dressed, not right now, mind you, white adult female uh, of American descent, blah, blah, blah. I don't look like my heritage. I don't look like I have mental or disorders. Don't get me started on if I go on Tumblr announcing that I have a mental disorder because Jesus fucking Christ, the hypocrisy on that website is choking. Yeah, because if you say you have any kind of disorder, then they immediately start playing the... No, you don't. Um, Prove it, blah, blah, blah. Or, or they do the, yeah, you have, you know, so-and-so. Well, I have this, and it's And worse. they try to one-up you. And then you have the animal kin people who say that their delusions are real issues. No, baby. You really just need to get a slap in the face and realize that you don't have a tail and real fucking ears. They're clip-ons. Yeah. And, and don't <laughs> get me wrong. If you believe that you have a tail and ears that just don't aren't actually there... It's not hurting anybody that you believe that, but until it becomes something that hurts others when they right, don't it, play it, along. it doesn't. It doesn't give you the right to be little people who have severe depression or other bipolarism issues. or any other fucking mental disorder that is a legitimate mental disorder. And I'm not saying that just because there are actual mental disorders out there that haven't been legitimized by the public that you're less than. I'm not saying that. I'm not saying that. What I'm saying is, just because you want to have a tail and ears, that does not make it a mental disorder. It does not make now, you oppressed. It does not make you anything other than needing a reality check, honestly. Well, and, you know, in in 50 to 100 years, you may be able to get that tail and ear if you want. <laughs> you um, might be able to have some surgical implants, you know, but you weren't probably with it. And that leads me to, you know, people with disabilities, I have a physical disability, but when people look at me and see the wheelchair, they immediately look and go, oh, he must be deaf, blind, or retarded. Mm. No. That's and, I, and I actually, by saying retarded, I literally legitimately mean mentally retarded, not just stupid. Mm. Um, there is a difference. There is a difference. Uh, the word can sometimes be used interchangeably, but... No. In this anyway, instance, in this instance, it's the scientific term. Mental disability. Yeah. Um, so, 
when when you get on Tumblr, there's this. Obviously, you're behind a screen, hmm. so you have anonymity. Right, you have anonymity. There's nothing to stop you from railing on some guy with a physical disability because he doesn't have depression or he doesn't have these mental disorders. When in actuality, a lot of these things kind of go hand in hand. A lot of people that I know have some degree of depression. You know, it may not be the crippling depression that weighs you down where you don't want to leave your bed. Like what I have but... sometimes. Well, and I say sometimes yeah. because it doesn't affect me 24-7 because I don't just have depression. I am bipolar and I have borderline personality disorder. But you try telling that to somebody on Tumblr and they're going to want some fucking medical documentation. Or they're just going to flat out disbelieve you and try and say you're just probably some white guy with white male privilege. Or if you get into a discussionary topic of any kind of disagreement or even if you agree with people of color on Tumblr or Twitter or any other social media, you immediately get thrashed and accused of just being fake. You get to accused of just being in agreement so that you can get attention from others in the community. Or you get told to sit down with your white privilege. And let's talk about the bandwagon people. Ooh! That somebody posts something on Tumblr, and people immediately jump on the bandwagon without checking for facts. Exactly. You know, that's like the saying, obviously you believe everything you read on the internet. No. You really shouldn't. Don't believe everything you read on the internet. Check so your just facts! Because, just because somebody says on the internet that purple spotted alligators are in, uh, endangered... For one thing, purple spotted alligators don't, don't fucking exist. exist. <laughs> um, so when you see that, don't immediately jump on the bandwagon and go, "Oh my God, we have to do something. Let's raise all this money for the purple spotted alligator." No. Also, speaking of raising money on different websites, please check your goddamn facts. Check and see if these people that you're trying to give money to are actually affiliated with any known donationary organizations or if these people actually need this money and they're not just trying to get money from you for free for doing nothing but claiming they have something wrong with them or claiming that they're in a state of anguish and and, and you know there's nothing wrong with seeing someone in need and donating to them via a gofundme page or whatever but try to do some kind of you know research because i've seen gofundme pages that have a picture of someone and when I started doing some research, the picture of the person on the GoFundMe page is not even the person... That's trying that, to get the money. It's right. something they took off the internet. So, I mean, the internet is so easy for you to get scammed. You need and to be careful. Exactly, you need to be careful. And these bandwagon people, I feel like... Are they were a, born to get screwed? No, not really. I think they're just not thinking. I think yeah. they get, you know, we all get caught up in the moment. Right. Sometimes. It all happens. It, it happens, happens, like with that Greg Ella shit that I got in on. I'm not going to lie. Yeah. And that's a whole other story. I mean. That's a whole other video right there. <laughs> um, Because I have very strong opinions on that. Mm. But anyway. And we will um, go to war if we talk about it right now. So it's not the best time. You know, it, it's one of those things where if you see something jump on the bandwagon. Whoa, dude, there was some serious lag just now. Really? Yeah, there was like a serious lag between the uh, between OBS and Skype, and like my computer just kind of went er, 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 for a minute, but it's okay now. Okay, well, hopefully that all went well, and, you know... <laughs> I'm fairly sure it's in the video. People. Sorry for the technical difficulty, people. As we've said in the previous video, we are just starting out. We don't know what the fuck we're doing, and... Ah! So, um, <laughs> as I was saying, you know... Mind you, you side note, real quick. I screamed just now, and Alex didn't flinch. He didn't react. No. Nothing. I'm He's used to, used to it! it. Yeah, <laughs> um, and if you're watching these videos, I promise you... Have fun, honey! I would keep your YouTube volume at about half or less. Mm -hmm. Um, because, yeah. If you see me open my mouth, turn your volume down. Yeah. Or remove your headphones or remove your earbuds from your ears. <laughs> keep them at a oh, safe God. distance because LAD NOISE HAS HAPPENED! We are not earbud friendly, no. Mm -hmm. um, Mostly me! So, <laughs> 
you know, back on topic. See, if you see somebody post something on Tumblr, do your research before Take you it with a grain of salt. And, like, and and if it's okay, I understand that being in the spotlight, there's some semblance of you know you're going to be scrutinized. Mm-hmm. But if you see somebody say something and they make a mistake. Whether they're a celebrity or not, one mistake all, I can. I, go ahead, sorry. You know, if everybody makes mistakes, if Excuse it's the me, first Bert. time, you know, don't demonize them and immediately jump all over them. Mm-hmm. You know, they might. You know, they may not have meant it the way they, they might have just out. been having a bad day. Exactly, they may have just had a bad day, or they may not have been thinking. You know, I have. I'm the worst at impulsive. <laughs> Behavior. I, I do you, things. you, have you seen my fucking tweet wall? <laughs> Jesus. Um, <laughs> Don't look at my tweets. Don't look at my tweets. Don't look at my tweets. You know, I do things occasionally, and then I think about them later, and I'm like, you know, should have done that. Should have done that. Yeah. And and you know, everybody's that way, no matter whether you're in the spotlight or not. And so I feel like. Although, in, in, in regards to this, Chris Brown is not one of those people. Chris Brown is a douchebag, no. and you should hate him. Mm-mm. Yeah. Um, and honestly, if any woman gets with him after the shit that happened to Rihanna, that woman is an idiot, and I'm not going to fucking deny that I think she's a fucking raging idiot for getting with this man, especially when there's been proof, especially when he's done it to other women, especially when there's more recent photos of the damage he has done to any significant other he has ever had. I'm just going to say the dick must have been right. But just must have been good. That's just all there is to I'm it. I'm sorry, but I don't care how how good some dick is. I don't care fucking how good your dick is or whatever. If a man hits you, get the fuck out. Yeah, I, I probably would have the shot him first if time. Back to me. Of course, I'm from Texas, so guns are kind of a common Bitch, thing. Bitch, I'm here. from Ohio, and I don't give a shit. I grew up with an abusive father, and I grew up watching what he did to my mom, so fuck that. Yeah. I, I'm, I'm not, not living with that shit. Speaking you know, of getting abused, Boneyards accidentally elbowed me in the face the other day. Boneyards uh, is my boyfriend for any, all, anyone who doesn't know, which none of you know that, but now you do. Whatever. But he accidentally elbowed me in the face, and he looked like a kicked puppy. He felt so fucking bad because it wasn't on purpose. He was just trying to stretch out, and I immediately had decided I was going to dive on him for a hug. But just as he was stretching out, so his elbow hit me across the face, and I was like, poof! Hitting the floor or bed or wherever the fuck it was that it happened, and it was like, ah! You hit me! And I made him feel like shit. Mind you, I was teasing him because it hurt. But I knew it wasn't on purpose, and I was like, You hit me, you monster! I can't believe you! And he fucking looked like he was on the verge of tears. It was, it was oh, pretty bad. And then I, felt, then I felt bad for making him feel bad, and I was like, It's okay, I'm fine. But I did have like a little bit of a bruise. <laughs> My kids were so angry at him. <laughs> Ooh. They were so mad at him. They were like, What did you do to my mommy? <laughs> because whenever mommy gets hurt, it's my mommy. You're no longer yeah. daddy. It's what'd you do to my mommy? <laughs> yeah, all bets are off. All bets are off. <sighs> but you know, and I think we all need to think when we're on the internet mm-hmm. about what we say, no matter who it is, who we're saying it to. Exactly. I mean, because well, hell, YouTube is a great example. Yeah. I've seen some things in YouTube comments that I would never say to my worst enemy. So I have said some things to people. That I shouldn't have said. But you know what? At the point, at that point in time, I thought it was a good thing. I thought it was warranted. Looking back on it, maybe I shouldn't have said those things. But at that point in time, I was, I was a little bit out of control with what I was doing. And it happens. And I understand that it happens to people. But you also have to be the person seeing this thing happen. You have to give this, this said person some kind of leeway. Because maybe... Maybe something terrible happened to them that day. Maybe they went through something terrible with a family member or a pet or a bad breakup or you just have a really psychotic, like, psychotic, psychotic? What the fuck is that? Maybe you just have a really psycho, raging, bitch-tastic mother like me. Or grandmother. Or grandmother like him. And sometimes you need to let that rage out. Yes, letting it out on people who don't deserve it 
it's a bad thing. It's not okay. It's not really, you know, a good thing. But it happens. And to be perfectly honest, sometimes you can't let it out on the people who deserve it. Otherwise, there's just going to be more drama. And, and, you know, if it comes to that, find a friend that you can vent to. The I Galax! Mean, yeah, I mean, we vent to each other all the time. And oh, Lord. It's sometimes hilarious, and sometimes it's just sad. Yeah. It is Honestly, there are times where I vent to you so often that I feel like you're going to just be like, girl, I'm fucking done. Because no. of how much I vent. I'm a glutton for punishment. I know, no. me too. Um, Which is not to say that you need to fucking try and punish us in these videos, or in, your, in the comments, okay? Yeah, yeah. Be gentle, please. Be, be gentle, I'm unless a, we're in bed, and then go rough. Be gentle. <laughs> I'm a virgin. <laughs> <laughs> hey, he is. He lives in Texas. I can't remember where he lives in Texas, but hey, he needs some dick. Really down Hit south. Him up. Hit him up. It's Hit, him up. Hit 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 him up. Look at this sexy motherfucker. I can't keep my hands in the frame to actually look like I'm presenting him. <laughs> Alex, you look like a fucking dork. Seriously. Um, he's sexy. He's funny. He's a geek. He can game. And he's got a fucking job. Fuck him. In the ass. Or take his dick in your ass. He'll like it. You'll like it. Trust me. Pop his V like card, I please. Said, like I said in the last video, this is a very mature <laughs> channel. This is a very mature channel. Disclaimer. Janner. 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 I can English. I love how we do the disclaimer late in the video. Late in the video. After we've already yeah. worked again. Um, I think we're going to have to make like a little video clip saying <laughs> that we have to edit in. <sighs> I need to talk to Joshua. Yeah. <laughs> Back on topic! What? Um. Oh yeah, hopefully he'll edit for us. Back on topic! On topic, here's a thought. And, and uh, side note, I should, all, I should set a timer for how long we're making these fucking videos. <laughs> yeah, that's probably a good idea, because I don't know how long we've been going. Um, I don't know either. <laughs> anyway. Anyways. You know, a common thing that people don't do on the internet, and this goes for Tumblr or Twitter, or anything or wrong or any, is any fucking social media. You know, remember that what you put on the internet stays. is gonna stay there, there. including get... naked pictures of yourself. If you're underage and you're sending a naked photo to your significant other because you just love him so much, it's gonna end up on the internet. No ifs, ands, or buts about it. No fucking joke. No fucking. This isn't some fucking you know mass media censorship thing. Your shit is going to be put on the internet the second you piss him off. And the the second is, you break up, just, or even just because he's a guy, and that's what guys do sometimes. Well, Not all there's men. also there's also the eventuality of maybe he deleted it, but you don't you know that. Delete button, it does not just completely erase the data forever. People can hack into your phone and get that that data. People can hack into your social media and get the or that data. Or you could just be dating you know, a douchebag who thinks it's okay to post it. There are websites dedicated to posting photos and sex videos of guys' ex-girlfriends. Okay? There are websites about this. It's not a fucking joke. It's disgusting, it's sick and depraved, and it shouldn't be done. But it is done, so you need to fucking protect yourself. Yeah, and, you know, just the bottom line is whatever you put on social media... Understand text, that it's going to be there. Text, pictures, video... Whatever. It's going to be there. It's going to be there forever. It's going to be somewhere. It's going to be and somewhere, and somebody's going to find it, and that could, somebody could be an employer. It can be an employer, it could be a prospective boyfriend that you get later, or girlfriend, or whatever, mm -hmm. that sees what you did when you were 16, and is like, what the mm -hmm. fuck is this crazy person? I'm done. What the fuck is like, this train wreck? You know, and, and the thing is, we do stupid shit when we're young. Hell, I do stupid shit now, Shut and Shut I'm 21, but, you know. <laughs> we're not talking about my age right now. You, you know. Although my we, birthday is coming up on July 1st. <laughs> people, people, people fuck up. We people make fuck mistakes. up. We make mistakes. So keep that in mind. You know, just kind of when you when you go to type out that long, flaming rant, or that anti-Semitic message, or that you know, extremely racist comment. Think about or, it. 
Or if you comment and, you know, tell somebody to go kill themselves, which, by the way, don't ever do. That's don't fucking wrong. Don't fucking do that. Stop. You're a douchebag. Um, if, if, you, if, you, if you find yourself typing it out, look at it for a minute and go, you know. Should I really post I, this? Are the internet really points this? worth it? No, do I not. really want this to be on the internet forever? You know, uh, it, it, it's that. just, I'm a girl. Um, <laughs> Sorry. You know, like, that's just some food for thought, guys. You know, and <laughs> this is another thing about our videos you need to know. Sometimes we're crazy and funny and fucking Sometimes all over Sometimes we're extremely serious. Yeah. You and Farmer and, Jean, but hey, it happens. And, and sometimes it gets sad, and sometimes it gets sappy, and sometimes it gets really fucking dirty. And then, mm. you know, there, there's a whole gambit of things. Um, it's so, a fucking rainbow and a half. It's a light yeah. show! What topic are we going to allude to today? Dick in the ass! Pussy licking. Oh, hey, this baby's really cute! <laughs> Yeah, that, that about sums it up right there. I mean, <laughs> Not cat videos. <laughs> going from cat videos to extreme zit popping. Oh, I did don't that even give me. <laughs> don't even. I had this obsession for a while of watching zit videos, and yeah. Oh, hey, work. there's a fucking timer at the bottom of the fucking screen that tells you how long the video's been going. I didn't know that. And That's fun warning. And you're seeing us learn about our videos. You're seeing us learn about, about the equipment we use to record. I didn't know there was a timer at the bottom. God fucking damn it. Uh, um, ah, it's been I'm 21 sure. minutes, about to be 22, so I think this is a appropriate time for this idiocy to end. <laughs> and, and, and like we said in the last video, um, comment and tell us what you'd like to see next, or, you know... Rate, comment, subscribe, give us a thumbs up if you think we're good. If you don't, don't, don't do anything. Just go away. And we'll have <laughs> some links in the description for whatever the hell <laughs> we want to put down there. Um, there so, might yeah. be a link or something. Hell, we might even link to videos. Maybe we'll do some kind of, hey, music of the week. We like this song the best. We've listened to it a hundred times. So should you! That we're not making work, any although... money, we're not making any kind of profit, we're just making videos because we think our voices should be heard. Yeah, we, we just like it, and we want to share Disclaimer! our ramblings. Disclaimer! With... And we just, kinda, we just kind of want to share our ramblings with the world, so yeah. Because honestly, a lot of our shit's funny, and a lot of our shit has relevance, so we figured, fuck it, we've got the equipment, we've got some of the knowledge base of how to do things, let's do it! <laughs> We have the capability. We can rebuild him. <laughs> we can make him stronger. We can make him faster. I don't know the rest of the words. We can make him with a purple dong. I mean... <laughs> <laughs> this isn't Saints Row! Oh, yeah. <laughs> we need to play that again, by the way. Bad. Also, now that we are at 23 minutes and 16 seconds... 20 seconds now. I think we should end the video here! Bye! Yeah. Bye, subscribe. Bye, subscribe, goddammit. <laughs>